Yes, and I believe this is the lost Lumley. Let's travel back through history and talk to Anne of Cleves. Anne, our heroine, our icon, she's important here. She was gifted Hever Castle, the Boleyn family seat, the castle in which Anne Boleyn grew up as part of her divorce settlement with Henry VIII. And she quietly held a full body, full length portrait of Anne Boleyn. Upon her passing, that contemporary portrait of Anne Boleyn was willed to her executor, Henry Fitzalan, who then willed it to his son-in-law, Baron Lumley. Unfortunately, there was a fire in which Lumley had to be cut down from full length to bust up. And then it's lost in 1790 entirely and we have no record of it ever again it's not destroyed nothing, nothing happened to it it just lost it's likely in a private collector's collection a rich person and they either don't know what they have or they don't want to show it to us or the Howard portrait is a lemon unfortunately this portrait the Howard this is a picture of the portrait that was taken in the 1920s the Howard is currently underneath the Lynnhurst. Somebody took about upon themselves to overpaint the Howard, and now we have the Lynnhurst. A terrible job. How ugly. And so there's no studying this, and there's nothing. But that is the purported Van Cleve portrait. And we know that Van Cleve was in Calais when Henry was there with Anne before they married and why the B makes sense why would you be wearing a Boleyn pendant hmm? because they weren't yet married but I believe that these two pictures were meant to sit side by side just look at the gaze they are both looking at something a door maybe your thoughts <laughs>